We've been consulting with our good friends over at Bradley University, economist uh, Dr. Joshua Luer, to talk about what's happening in our economy. And in an effort to keep everyone up to date, we want to kind of give them an overview. And one of the things that our economists are telling us is that, yes, we are going to see more of a rebound the second half of the year, which is consistent with what our message has been over the last couple of years. Right. I think the big message he had was that we are in a soft patch right now, and we're coming out of that pretty aggressively. So we're seeing uh, growth for the first time in real job generation. And that's not just a summer thing. That's a, a real job um, activity set. And he also had something to say about interest rates and watch for some changes maybe in the summer, but nothing to really be um, overly alert or anything to really um, raise the eyebrows about, right? Yeah, he actually got uh, pretty detailed. And I think uh, he was looking at food prices sort of increasing as a primary driver for inflation and then gas prices going up, although he did say that uh, th they anticipate that the gas pricing right now is pretty much an anomaly based around uh, some of the conflicts in the, in the Mediterranean and Libya. So he, he's estimating that those gas prices will come back down here in summertime. And so that obviously is a, a big hit to the pocketbook of, of everyone. Right. And so when you're looking at trying to spend your way out of a recession, that really does impact you. Yeah, every dollar that you have to spend in increased prices on normal things that you buy is one less dollar that you could spend on other things. And those two primary drivers, food and oil, are something that everybody buys, uh, gasoline. So. Um, he's looking for some relief in those particular areas, so if you're still saving for some of the items that have, uh, through the last recessionary period, perhaps been a delayed purchase, mm -hmm. uh, he's not anticipating a significant amount of increase in interest, and some of those other prices will start to come down. And he also talked about further um, fiscal um, stimulation to the economy. But really, if things continue to progress the way they are right now, we shouldn't need any more fiscal stimulus as we've seen in the, in the past. Yeah, not on a federal level, although what his inclination was, if you don't do a bunch of right things in the state of Illinois, including keeping taxes in check and doing a bunch of other things, that there could be some public policy things that go on that really negatively impact our ability to get out of the economy on a localized basis. So from a federal standpoint, no more stimulus needed, but on a local and state level, we really need to keep those taxes in check so that folks have enough money to spend through the economic recession. And with all of our friends of the Heartland Partnership family of companies, the business community, the bottom line for them is yeah. soft patch right now, slowly, and that's the keyword, slowly we are recovering and coming out of everything. You know, that's true, and I think we're going to spend a little time in our next session talking about what some of the summer hire practices mm -hmm. look like and some of the permanent job shifts. So uh, right now, it uh, you know, all the indicators show we're feeling pretty good. It's still not in full force, still not, you know, a uh, big volume of uh, hiring, but it's stable. All right, Jim, thanks very much, and we'll continue to update you as we continue to consult with the economists from Bradley University, Dr. Joshua Luer, and others. We'll keep you posted on what's happening with the regional economy.